Due to particular currents in the Pacific Ocean, a new continent has been born. A mass of plastic waste the size of Europe. The EPA tonight is in a race to contain that toxic spill in Colorado, which the agency itself is responsible for. At least three million gallons of mining waste turning the Animas River yellow. Now the pollution is making its way past communities and even into other states. The life is hard out there for sea turtles ordinarily. Um, it's getting harder by the day. believe what began as an industrial accident hundreds of miles away could have such an impact on us. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies, including lakes, rivers, oceans, aquifers, and groundwater. Only 3% of our water is fresh water. Of this 3%, only a half a percent is not frozen. This makes our access to fresh water limited. One form of water pollution is nutrient water pollution. Some wastewater, fertilizers, and sewage contain high levels of nutrients. When in water, they promote algae and weed growth in water. An excess amount of algae will also use up all the oxygen in the water, causing other water organisms in the water to die from oxygen deprivation. Another form of water pollution is groundwater pollution. When humans apply pesticides and chemicals to soils, they are washed deep into the ground by rainwater. This then reaches underground water, causing underground water pollution. Many farmers and industries use chemicals to control weeds, insects, and pests. This can lead to chemical water pollution. Metals and solvents can pollute water bodies. These are poisonous to many forms of aquatic life and may slow their development, causing infertility and even death. Oil spills are a very popular form of water pollution. This usually has a more localized impact on wildlife, but can spread for miles. Oil spills can kill fish and get stuck in the feathers of seabirds, causing them to lose the ability to fly. Although their feathers can be cleaned, it is said to take up to one hour per bird to clean. Sewage and wastewater contamination is common in many developing countries, as sewage water is often not treated and dumped directly back into the water. This leads the water prone to many deadly diseases. Other forms of water pollution include atmospheric water pollution, where acid rain is washed into water bodies, septic tanks, which bring water sewage into soils and nearby water bodies, and ocean and marine dumping, the dumping of paper waste, food waste, plastic, rubber, metallic, and aluminum waste. When researchers examined the stomach of a beached sperm whale in 2012, they found 30 square meters of tarpaulin a four and a half meter long hose, a nine meter long plastic rope, and two flowers. The major result of water pollution is the death of aquatic animals. Fish, crabs, birds, dolphins, and many other animals often wind up on beaches and killed by pollutants in their habitat. Birds are dying in large numbers. Several islands in the Gulf serve as wildlife refuges for some 3,400 birds. And veterinarian Joe Smith with the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo says conditions could get a lot worse. Water pollution disrupts food chains as pollutants such as lead are eaten by tiny animals. These animals are often then consumed by fish and shellfish, and the food chain continues to be disrupted at all higher levels. Every year, more than 100,000 turtles, marine mammals, and seabirds die a slow and painful death because they starve with a full stomach or because their intestines rupture. Human health risks are another result as humans come in contact with diseases by eating poisoned seafood. Contaminated fresh water is also a result in water being undrinkable as seen in Flint's water crisis. In addition, ecosystems are permanently disrupted as plastic found in water can take up to 500 years to completely disintegrate. This pollution has grown dramatically. problems with water pollution is a transboundary nature. Many rivers cross countries while seas span whole continents.
pollution discharged by factories in one country with poor environmental standards can cause problems in neighboring nations, even when they have tougher laws and higher standards. Environmental laws can make it tougher for people to pollute, but to be really effective, they have to operate across national and international borders. Most environmental experts agree that the best way to tackle pollution is through something called the polluter pays principle. There's going to be a harmful effect on many local businesses and it's going to be painful for a lot of folks. Folks are going to be frustrated and some folks are going to be angry. This means that whoever causes pollution should have to pay to clean it up one way or another. Polluter pays can operate in all kinds of ways. It can mean that tanker owners should have to take out an insurance that covers the cost of oil spill cleanups or that shoppers should have to pay for their plastic grocery bags to encourage recycling and minimize waste. Ultimately, the polluter pays principle is designed to deter people from polluting by making it less expensive for them to behave in an environmentally responsible way. Educating people on the issue can open up their eyes to the harmful impacts of water pollution. Revealing the destruction can enforce many to take precautions and promote proper waste disposal. It's Only until people understand the damages will they want to enforce change.